Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing a fantastic movie, one of the best serial killer movies I've ever seen. Uh, one of my favorite Asian movies too. It is The Untold Story with Anthony Wong. You can pick this up for pretty cheap. I got mine off of Amazon uh, for like 17 bucks, something like that, from an individual seller. Lots of sellers are selling this, so you'll definitely be able to get yourself a, a copy. This film is based on a true story. And uh, that is no shit at all. I actually looked it up. This film is about a man who's a serial killer and the owner of a restaurant. So what he does to get rid of the bodies is he skins them and picks their bones clean. And then he throws away the bones. But what he does with the meat is really gross and disgusting. He puts their meat, his victim's meat, into barbecue pork buns and feeds them to his customers. And like I said, this is based on a true story. So this actually happened, which is very disgusting, how someone can even think to do something like that. And while he's doing his business, the cops are investigating the murders that are going on, and they're trying to find out what happened to the previous owner of that restaurant, because he just disappeared and vanished, and he had a whole family, and they're wondering what happened. And so the first half of the movie is uh, them trying to find out what happened to the man and to the people being killed. And the second half is uh, something else. I'm not going to spoil it. It's very cool. Uh, this movie is very dark, obviously, from what I've told you. This movie sounds pretty much appalling. But there's some comedic elements to outweigh the darker elements. And uh, that comes through the comedic relief with the cops in this movie. They're always talking about like, picking up women. The main inspector always has, like, they don't call them prostitutes. Well, they do, but he says that they're not. They always joke around and stuff. And there's a female cop who feels underappreciated. And uh, she's very funny in this movie. Without the cops, I don't think I would have liked this movie uh, as much at all if they weren't in there. Uh, they're kind of like the cops in The Last House on the Left, the original Last House on the Left. They're not exactly as moronic, but still, they're like that. And uh, I'm very... Uh, very appreciated, I felt like. I, I very much like that in this movie. This movie's been, uh, call it extreme. There's a scene, I'm just going to call it the family massacre scene. Uh, that's not really a spoiler. And uh, there's another scene where he rapes a woman with chopsticks. It's exactly how it sounds. Uh, pretty brutal. It's pretty brief, but still very uh, violent, obviously. Uh, Anthony Wong actually won uh, an award for his portrayal in this movie. It was at the 1993 Hong Kong Film Awards for Best Actor. And I've never seen the other movies nominated, but I can tell you right now that he deserved it. Because without him, this movie would have been a piece of shit, I feel anyway. If they had a bad actor, this movie would have just been awful. And for that, I thank you. That's Daniel Tosh right there. Um... Uh, if you like cop movies, serial killer study films, so if you like Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer, Silence of the Lambs, The Ugly, definitely uh, pick this movie up. I'm sure most of you guys have seen this movie, but if you haven't, definitely pick this movie up. And not only is it a sick movie, but it's also a very good movie. So thank you guys for watching this video. This has been a review by Squirrel Face. Now I know how to pronounce it. And thank you, and have a good day.